Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, is that Dr. Sturshak? Hey Renee, how's it going? Hi, I'm from SUS. Can I ask you 24 questions? Absolutely. Fire okay. away. So the first one is, what do you teach and are you involved in research? I teach Chem 121, which is the first term, first year chemistry course. And then I teach Chem 123, which is the first year, second term course. In terms of research, no, the university hired me to teach and to coordinate the two big first year chemistry courses. Love your courses. And how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching now for four years. I'm about to start my fifth as of September. Ooh, and do you look at Rate My Prof reviews? <laughs> so I used to look at Rate My Prof reviews when I was younger. Uh, I no longer look at them, and at very much I don't look at them anymore during uh, the term. Uh, if I do, I'll wait until something like the summer where it's less emotionally charged. I'm sure you're one of the highest rated profs. And what is the weirdest question a student has asked you? The weirdest question, I get a lot of questions. The weirdest question a student ever asked me was whether or not I could help look over a cold email that they wanted to send to research profs uh, to ask if uh, the bull SHIT meter had been triggered or not. Oh, interesting. And did you respond to that? Oh, I did. Uh, mostly because that's the phrasing that I used in the original when we originally spoke. Uh, mostly just so that it seemed sincere rather than sort of forced. Well, that was pretty crazy. And speaking of that, what was the craziest thing you did during your undergrad? <laughs> so I was boring in undergrad. I was fairly resoundingly boring, actually. Um, but the craziest thing I ever did was in my final year, so my fourth year of my undergrad, myself and other seniors went to a frat house. We stayed there 15 minutes. And the entire time I was so grossed out that I was constantly fighting the need to deep cleanse it with multiple disinfecting sprays and bleach solution. Oh, oh no, that oh, was yeah. pretty crazy actually. That was gross. <laughs> um, speaking of that, like, if, have you ever been underprepared for a lecture? And what did you do for that? Have I ever been underprepared for a lecture? Uh, fairly consistently, yes. Um, what do I do when I'm underprepared? Well, I wing it. Uh, the benefits of teaching the same course every year for four years now is that I can kind of have a general sense of what I need to do and how I want to do it. But then what I'll focus on is uh, making sure I know how to do math. If I can do math in front of an audience of 240 students, I'm golden. Wow, I see. And what is something that a student has said to you that stuck with you to this day? Well, would you like the negative ones or the positive ones? We'll start positive, I believe, in being positive. Uh, student accused me of witchcraft. Uh, said that uh, the reason that they were enjoying Chem 121 so much was because I made it seem less daunting and more fun. And they didn't think that was possible. And then the negative thing was somebody once told me um, that I couldn't teach and uh, was generally overrated and not supportive of them. And That'll do it. That'll stick with you no matter what uh, all the positive things are. Oh no, you oh, yeah. will forever be my favorite prof. <laughs> and a lot of people are fans of your cat actually. And how ah, yes. old is your cat? The Jigsaw is 18 years old. He is a senior citizen if there ever was one. Oh, and... We are also a fan of you, actually. So, some questions about you. How many blazers do you have in your closet? Well, I'm honored. Uh, blazers, let's see. I think I have seven or eight different blazers, something like that. And the reason I have so many is that before I wore them every day, I actually generally liked them. Now I wear them so that I have a microphone to attach to them when I'm teaching, because otherwise the microphone tends to move a lot and I try to minimize background noise. So I need the structure. Plus, they're colorful. Oh, maybe you should start a rainbow color collection. I should. That's absolutely correct. And how much time do you spend making answer key videos? <laughs> so each answer key video is about two to two and a half hours by the time it reaches students. On my end, I can spend anywhere between three to three and a half hours on them, both in the prep work for them, and then I sometimes edit them down a little bit. 
Wow, that yeah. dedication. And what's your favorite cat breed? I don't have a favorite cat breed. Um, just kind of like I don't have really have a favorite dog breed. I like I like cats and I like dogs. Oh, I see. And what's your favorite element then? Magnesium. Hands down, my favorite element is magnesium. It is the one that saved my PhD. Uh, and so it will forever be, forever be my favorite. Mm. And what is a big common misconception about your course? <laughs> uh, the common misconception about both courses, although predominantly for 121, is that it cannot be done. And it can. It just sometimes requires a little bit of adjustment from high school version of chemistry. And what's your favorite coffee order? Oh, 16 ounce latte, hot and to go. Oh, yep. take note guys. And what's your favorite building on campus and why? So uh, the fact that I work in the chemistry department would preclude me to say that it's absolutely the chemistry building. Um, if you look at the building on the third floor near me, there's a beautiful colored hallway with, with stained glass. If you go past there around three o'clock in the afternoon on a sunny day, phenomenal. Highly recommend for selfies and general photos. If I was not legally obligated to say the chemistry building, I'd say forestry. Forestry has an absolutely beautiful building. Ooh, we will definitely go check those out for sure. And what is your favorite cat meme? So fun fact, I don't actually really do memes. I'm from the generation right before memes kind of took off. So I will do how you do in memes. For those in my class, you'll always kind of see them at the first beginning of every lecture. Uh, mostly just get vibes from the class on that day. Uh, but in terms of an actual meme, it would have to be the SN1, SN2 meme that I use in 123 to describe the difference between them. Mostly just because I think it's funny. No way, I still remember seeing that in class. And how does it feel like to be everyone's favorite prof? <sighs> stressful, very stress inducing. Um, I'm honored, it's never that, but it is, it's incredibly stressful. I'm honored, both of those simultaneously. Okay, so content wise, do you prefer chem one, two, one or one, two, three? Content wise, 121 wins uh, because it has information about matter and light. And that is what I did my PhD in, in terms, uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it's got some of my more favorite content in it, but 123 is good too. Ooh, then just a follow up. Do you enjoy teaching Chem 121 over 123 then? No, uh, I like 121 and 123 for different reasons. 123 I enjoy teaching uh, in the sense that we get to talk about a lot more different concepts. So we get to do thermo and kinetics and organic chemistry. Whereas 121 feels a little bit more monotonous in terms of the type of chemistry that we cover. Mm. And some people say that you need to like working with young people in order to be a good teacher. Do you agree? I don't understand why anyone would be a teacher, in my opinion, if you didn't like working with students, no matter the age of those students. So if you're going to work at a university where you're going to work with young people, young being relative, of course, uh, then yeah, I would think that you would want to, uh, you'd need to be able to uh, like young people and, and want to work with them. Mm, I see. That's why we love you as well. <laughs> and what is the skill that you hope to pick up? Oh, to be able to do mental math in front of an audience of 240 students without, you know, failing. That'd be nice. <laughs> I hope to pick that up as well. And what is a controversial opinion you have about your field of study? <sighs> Chemistry. Um, love it. One of my favorite subjects, although I have many. Uh, but one of the things I, as I reflect back on my undergrad experience and now as I actually teach students, one of the things chemistry doesn't do particularly well is it doesn't show students why chemistry is such an important prereq for so many different specializations and so many different majors. It's directed a lot at the students interested in chemistry, but not those who need chemistry for something else. Mm. And what is the most overused word in your field? Uh, in terms of like chemistry in general, novel, definitely novel. Um, everything's a novel this, a novel that. 
Maybe the word new could be used occasionally. Uh, and the other one for chem education is uh, the word flipped. Everyone's talking about flipped classrooms. Uh, and there's another one, but it's lost me at this moment in time. I see. And that's our 24 questions. Is there anything else you would like to tell the camera? I don't think so. Just have a wonderful beginning of the term. And I hope that, you know, your term and this entire school year treats you well. Thank you so much, Dr. Sershak. Thank you, you for having me. You will forever be our favorite prof. <laughs> That'll change. <laughs>